the Iranian Navy recently introduced an AI-powered cruise missile called Abu Mahdi that can effectively destroy both land and sea targets. This missile was recently revealed and have already gone into mass production, with over 100 units now in service. This is one of Iran's latest weapons showcase. The missile holds 410 kilograms warhead, which makes it an effective force of destruction, but what makes it really impressive is its advanced AI capabilities. The missile, measuring 600 centimeters in length, comes equipped with essential components, including a terrain detection radar and various guidance systems in the middle section. Then it has a warhead, as I just mentioned in the intro, and it also features another radar at the front, with active and passive homing capabilities. These capabilities enable the missile to counter enemy electronic warfare, identify nearby landscapes, and navigate complex flight paths. With a range of up to 1000 km and a speed exceeding 700 km per hour, this missile operates at very low altitudes, usually less than 50 meters. Its integrated AI and advanced navigation systems allows it to change flight paths during the operation, effectively targeting from different angles. Deployed and shot in significant numbers, these missiles can encircle larger enemy warships, overwhelming their defenses and ensuring their destruction. Iran's naval strategy against substantial enemy ships is unique. Its naval force primarily relies on anti-ship missiles launched from both land-based positions and naval assets like frigates, carvets, and numerous smaller missile boats. The mainstay of their sea forces is the Qadr missile, mass-produced and stocked. With a 300 km range, advanced radar, electronic warfare resilience, and high-precision navigation, it operates at relatively low altitudes, making it challenging to detect. This arsenal supports Iran's swarm strategy, where identified enemy targets can be surrounded by anti-ship missiles launched from both land and sea-based vessels. According to many military experts, launching numerous missiles such as these ones greatly increases the chances of successful strikes. 100 or 200 of these missiles are a lot cheaper than great imposing enemy warships that cost hundreds of millions of dollars. This approach underlines Iran's emphasis on advanced anti-ship missiles, ensuring a potent naval defense strategy. This helps it counter enemies with large imposing ships. Be safe there. Iran, look, the US can send as many ships as it wants to the Persian Gulf. The reality is Iranian military capabilities are such that they will sink all of these ships. Uh, General Berger, the commandant of the Marine Corps, has restructured uh, Marine Corps amphibious warfare doctrine, uh, recognizing that uh, reliance upon legacy systems such as large amphibious ships is suicidal uh, when dealing with the anti-shipping uh, missile capability of nations such as. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I will be doing a more thorough and detailed video about the Iranian Navy in the future. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.